Hi, thanks for watching. My name is Angela. I'm a documentary filmmaker and a world traveler. And I'm talking to you today because of a project that marries both of my passions. I met the nomadic family when I was traveling in Cambodia. They are originally from Israel. Kobe and Gabby are the parents. They're traveling with their three small kids who are eight, 10, and 11. And at this point, they've been traveling for three years all throughout the United States, Central America, South America, and they're currently in Southeast Asia. They are an ordinary family with the extraordinary dream of traveling the world. And they just did it. They picked up and quit their jobs and did it. You know, from the first second I met them, I, you know, I, I knew that it was a story that I wanted to share. Uh, they just, you know, helped me realize that regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your situation, if you have a dream, you can make it happen. You know, they decided that they didn't want to live the life of, you know, the white picket fence. They, they wanted to find their own happiness, and they are. And they're homeschooling their kids, they're world schooling their kids, and, you know, they're going to grow up fearless. So what I'm going to be shooting is a three-week trek in Nepal. We're going to be uh, trekking Annapurna with the kids, the whole family's in tow. And we're going to spend three weeks on the mountain. And then after that, we're going to volunteer at an orphanage for a month. So what your money is going to go towards, if you are kind enough to donate, are pre-production costs. You know, everything we need to get the equipment, everything we need to get out there, as well as the production costs. So travel expenses and sending a professional crew out there to shoot with the family 24 hours a day. If you are to donate, you know, we're going to be sending out digital copies, hard copies of the film. We're going to do, be doing a, a, a making of featurette, which is going to have some really beautiful cool footage on there. And you know, the family, we all like to dance, we like to sing, we're gonna be making songs for people. Uh, Gabby has offered you know, her, her precious time to help you accomplish your travel dreams. If that's something that you really wanna do, we can make it happen. So we're really excited about the incentives. And you know, I think this is just a beautiful story and I think it's so important to share because I want them to hopefully inspire people the same way they inspired me. Uh, I hope you enjoy the family, go ahead and watch the video. And if you fall in love with them the same way I did, hit that donate button. Thank you. We're a nomadic family. We're talking to the guy about volunteering here in the village and I think it's an awesome idea. Um, we can live with the indigenous, teach in the school, um, also work in the fields. Our travel, traveling is a lifestyle and in that lifestyle we, there are things we won't give up on. We will not give up on our health, we won't give up on our children's education, um, we won't give up on um, time for ourselves. Um, and this is what it's about, you know, getting out there, meeting people, um, letting our kids have these awesome, awesome experiences that strengthen to them um, that they are just world citizens, that they are just like any other kid in this world and give any kid in this world five minutes a smile and a ball and you got a best friend. Children have decided that they want to attend school um, with the indigenous kids and on the days that they attend school they don't have to do studies with us. Had a, had a nice time, really did, until I wanted to kill the kids. The children have hopefully found their father, and if they haven't found their father, then the nomadic family will become a nomadic couple. I'm exhausted, and as we know, when we are exhausted, uh, everything is horrible. What the fuck? You know, I just don't want my kids with me all the time. Because it's too much. It's too much. And they're so sweet, and they're so adorable, and they're so curious, and they're so energetic, and they're so cool. I don't know, like, I want to say just go away, but I don't want them to go away. I love them, and I love them so much, and I want them to know that I love them, and I want them, I want them to feel valued and admired. So I travel the world, and my soul grows deeper, and I'm learning the lessons, and I'm going through the things I'm supposed to go through so that I can learn my next deeper lesson to a brighter and lighter soul. The biggest shit in the bathroom. And there's no water. I just feel really bad for my family. When they wake up, they're gonna have to deal with the toilet full of my shit. Who cares if I'm a family therapist with a radio show in Israel? Who cares? I'm just a person out here with her pants down going to the bathroom. We have just eaten like five oranges. We forgot to check. We just ate a lot of worms. Uh, who threw up today? Me! <laughs>
the good point is like we get up, we hang out, we have such a great family bonding. I feel happy. I mean, I hang out with my kids. Oh, oh. It's like sometimes, sometimes I love Charlie. I always feel this way and I always say next time I won't fall in love. And yet again, here I am, shivering and shaking and really sad to leave. As terrified as I am, I'll bow to it and, and say I'll dance again. Well, Lizzie, what would you say to a family who wants to travel the world? Are you stupid? 